In this lecture, we will learn how to define spring parameters. To do that, we need to go to define spring properties. Here we will see that there are five different options under the spring properties parameters. That is, we can either define point springs, line spring, area spring, soil profiles, or isolated column footings. First of all, we will try to understand what exactly is point springs option. To do that, we need to click on add new property. Here you will see the property name, display color, property nodes and simple spring stiffness in global directions options are coming. We enter the property name as spring1. Second option we need to enter is simple spring stiffness. We need to enter the translation x stiffness, translation y stiffness, translation z stiffness. The springs can also allow rotation about x, y or z axis. So considering all these six parameters, we need to enter this, this data very carefully. Translational x stiffness allow for the spring can be for example 20 kN per meter. Translational y stiffness can be 50 kN per meter. Translational z can be around 100 kN per meter. Rotation. Rotation about x axis, see carefully the units. The units is kN meter per radian. It can be for example 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.9. So, so now we have named the spring property. We have also assigned the simple spring stiffness in global directions. That is x, y and z direction. In the end you will see that there is also a single option here. That is we can I also add single joint links at point. That is when we click left click on add option. Here you will see that it is automatically showing link 1 and axial direction in axis 2 angle. So we left click on delete. We now left click on ok to save the spring 1. Now spring 1 property is defined. To study the links we need to go to define section properties and link support property. Here you will see that link 1 that was showing in that option is now visible here. To cross check it property we left click on modify show property. Here you will see the link property name that is link 1 link type. It can be linear, damper, gap, hook, multilinear. It can also be isolator or in isolator further there are four various options that is rubber isolator, friction isolator, TC friction isolator and triple pendulum isolator. Each and every option the window will change. So we need to enter this data again very carefully. The total mass, weight, rotation, inertia and direction. In direction further you will see that when it's fixed this property will not be available when it is not checked. Now here you will see that further a window linear link support direction properties window will open where it will further ask various parameters like direction and fixity and stiffness. Stiffness can either be coupled or uncoupled and damping can also be either be uncoupled or coupled. Do not guess any part here. So what I was telling you is that my purpose for this define link properties was that it can be used to assign the point springs. That is, when we again left click on add new property, we again left click add here. So now we can assign link 1 and actual direction. It can also be along plus x. We left click on OK option. And then now this P spring 2 is defined. Second option now that we have to study is line springs. That is, we left click on add new property. Here you will see that we can enter the name. Let it be line spring. Now spring constant per unit length. In the previous example, the units were kN per meter only. Now this is a line spring. So it the unit shall be kN per meter per meter. So now we enter the data here. As for, for example, at a local one direction, the spring constant per unit length is let it be 2 along local 2 direction for example let it be 6 along local 3 direction let it be 8 rotation about local 1 let it be 0 0.2 third and fourth option it is asking the non-linear option for local 2 direction and non-linear option for local 3 direction that is it can be compression only or it can be tensional it can be none see the local 2 direction linear local 3 direction linear when i click on compression only what exactly happens is that i instruct the etabs and that is in the local 2 direction it is compression only so it now changes here from linear to compression only when we when i will click on tension only 
it will change the tension only similar is the case with local th three direction so what exactly we are instructing e tabs that in the local two direction it is tension only and in local three direction it is none or it is linear in compression only tension only are the non-linear parameters that can be assigned to the line springs so now we have assigned the line spring property name with all the parameters and when, when we left click on ok option this line spring is now visible here third we go to area springs Area springs are usually used in designing the raft foundation. So we enter the property name as let it be for example area spring 1. Spring stiffness option is user specified stiffness and non-linearity. That is in local 3 direction the non-linear options can be used. For example active tension only, compression only or it can be none. That is linear. Usually we enter the local 3 direction that is for example it be 50,000 kilonewton per meter per meter square so when we left click on ok now this area spring 1 is also defined fourth option that we need to study is soil profiles that is we can also enter the soil profile in the ETAS program to do that we need to enter the soil profile name let it be soil profile 1 here we cl left click on add soil layer that is elevation or top of layer is 0 unit weight let it be for example 18 shear modulus let it be pause initial let it be 0 0.25 Cohesion let it be 18, friction angle let it be 29, shear wave velocity let, let it remain the same. So we have defined the soil layer name that is layer 1 with all these soil properties. When you again left click on add soil layer, layer 2 will be added to the preview. That is elevation of top of layer is minus 1.5 to 4. It can also be changed. Let it be for example minus 3. Unit weight let it be 20 let all the parameters remain the same when we again left click on add soil layer you will see that now third layer is also added so in the similar manner we can add as much soil profiles as we want to enter so if we want to delete some we can just select the soil layer for example if we want to delete the layer 4 we select it and then we click left click again on delete soil layer so layer 4 is now deleted from our record below you will also find a, an option to enter the shear modulus reduction factor for large chain effects and soil hysteresis damping ratio it can be entered as per the user requirements above you will find an option to change the transparency that is when we left click here the color will become solid and when we change it to minimum it will be now fully transparent we can also enter the soil profile nodes for our record so when we left click again on ok the soil profile one is now added last option under spring properties is the isolated column footings we can again left click on add new property the best thing about this option is that we can add isolated footings that is we can enter the property name let it be 2500 into 3000 here you will enter 2500 3000 Thickness can be entered for example 500 mm. Uh, footing embedment depth let it be user defined that is 1500 mm. When you again left click on ok 2500 into 3000 footing is now defined. So under this options we have studied that we can define point spring, line spring, area spring, soil profiles and isolate column footings.